Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of review video and we'll be looking at Proraso shaving cream, which I have it right here. So this is a famous Italian brand uh, shaving cream and uh, it's a classic shaving cream uh, and uh, I have been uh, trying to uh, do a review on uh, this cream for a while. So this is usually $12 Canadian uh, but at my local uh, drugstore I found this on sale for $6 Canadian and I thought I wanted to give it a try so I picked up a copy of uh, Paraso shaving cream so this is the regular version they have other uh, versions which I saw a sensitive one uh, and then uh, there's like you know uh, the can and then there's the a bowl or uh, soap bowl but I wanted to pick up the regular shaving cream for the first time so this one is actually uh, eucalyptus and menthol and uh, the packaging has a very nice classic uh, looks uh, which I kind of like and then uh, so we're going to you know shave this uh, use this to shape today and I'll give you my opinion how it feels or you know how good or bad it is so the way we're going to do it I'll put the shaving cream on the left side of my face and then I'll just you know rub it with my fingers uh, with water and then on my uh, right side uh, I'll just put uh, the shaving cream and then I'll use a brush uh, like this to make it for me the reason because uh, most of you I know that you know lots of you guys use a shaving brush and lots of you don't so just I'm going to try both of them on each side uh, what's happening with me that uh, in the past I used to uh, shave with shaving brush but now I kind of got lazy and I just like you know put the shaving cream on both uh, sides of the face and then I just rub it with fingers and wet water and then that just works fine so I usually don't use a brush anymore but sometimes I do if I feel like it but today let's try both so I'm just going to smell this uh, the first thing uh, the first thing I'm noticing that it has a classic barber smell but with a touch of eucalypt uh, eucalyptus and uh, menthol and that's what uh, actually uh, it is uh, actually you cannot even this is in Italian I don't think this is in English but most likely it's in here uh, for example right here so the moment you smell it you get that smell so I'm just going to like you know uh, take a little bit and put it on here and then just take some water and then I'm just you know I'll just make it like for me and I'll do that for this part of my face and then for the other side I'll just like you know grab something like this and I'll just close this one and let's put it in here and I'm going to just you know use this brush to uh, make it uh, for me and I'm just moving away further a little bit from the camera so it doesn't go you know uh, into the lens So it looks like uh, the foam or leather is coming nice. Uh, it's you know very thick and smooth, and I might need to just add a little bit more water. So and you know I can feel the it's it just feels like going to the barber and having a shave. Okay, so I think uh, this should be good enough for this side. And then here, let's just like you know rub slightly more, and so as you can see, even with fingers, uh, it works just fine. You know, it's not maybe like this, but still, I think it's okay. So I don't. That's why you know I don't use a uh, shaving brush that much. So the razor I'm using is this is a uh, Chic 5, Chic Hydro 5 and this is the one usually I use. Uh, this is the one I've been using for a while. It's a little bit more expensive than other versions of uh, Chic but uh, it just like you know pays off because uh, I want, I use each of this for about a month. So let's just like you know try from the left first and I'm not actually looking at the mirror for that reason I cannot look at the camera so that's why I'm, my eyes are Directing to different direction. Okay, it smooths, you know, it glides smoothly, and I'm just going to try this part. So 
So what happened? I was checking uh, ProRasso's website, and they have some good instructions on their website how to shave and some good tips. So if you're interested, you might want to check that out later on. And just to clarify things, that this is not any paid or affiliated review. Uh, there's no affiliated links, no nothing. Uh, all my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. So that way you get the best opinion. So the menthol is kicking in. I can feel the coolness on my face. And uh, you know, I the smell is kind of, it's not light smell. It's kind of like, you know, strong, but not too strong, but definitely it gives you the, you know, feeling and the smell of going to the barber. Because I feel like, you know, I'm at uh, the barber shop uh and it just like you know uh has that feeling in terms of the foam or the leather it just feels okay you know it, it's doing its job but um uh, i'm not gonna say it's very thick because i have used other shaving cream uh like you know which produces uh, thicker leather than this so this looks like a slightly not that thick but i think it's still it's manageable uh, yeah and also you can see that you know it doesn't uh, produce any leather anymore so i think you have to reapply the foam uh, but you know in general it looks like it's just doing the job so i'm not going to continue uh shaving all the way uh, because I think that's good enough to you know find out how good or bad it is so I'm going to have to say that you know it works fine uh, the smell is slightly on the heavy side and some of you may not like it uh, it has the classic barber smell with uh, a touch of eucalyptus and uh, menthol and you're going to have heavy like you know cool feeling or mental feeling on the face so if it's winter then definitely it's gonna like you know feel a little bit cooler but in the summer this is going to feel a lot better than the winter so overall i'm happy with the product uh, but you know it's a expensive uh, shaving cream so my take on this is going to be that you know i'm not going to buy this uh, paying the full price unless i get it on sale because uh, if you let's say for example if you are buying a nivea uh, you know shave cream which is only four dollars and i think it comes close to the Proraso shaving cream and it could even be better uh, if the nivea like in a regular version or the sensitive version uh, they do have a sensitive version of this uh, which i'm going to or hoping to review in the future but uh, definitely you know i wouldn't buy this at paying the full price unless like it's on sale and my understanding is that uh, this is okay it works fine but definitely it cannot surpass other popular uh, brands which are a lot cheaper than this one but overall I'm happy with the product and you know I'm going to continue using this and finish this and we'll try to get something uh, else uh, from their line of product but it's going to be a different version so thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up and I'll see you shortly thanks